In this video, we're diving into the symptoms of a bad faulty fuel pump relay. By the end of this video, you'll learn about the symptoms of a bad fuel pump relay, its causes, and the necessary steps to diagnose and troubleshoot. So, what exactly is a fuel pump relay and what does it do? Well, a fuel pump relay is an electrical component in a vehicle's fuel system that helps control the operation of the fuel pump. The relay acts as a switch that allows a small amount of current from the ignition or control module to activate a larger current needed to power the fuel pump. A faulty fuel pump relay can manifest in various symptoms, indicating potential issues with the vehicle's engine performance. Let's explore the symptoms of a bad fuel pump relay one by one. The number one symptom is the engine cranks, but doesn't start. If the relay fails, the fuel pump won't receive power, causing the engine to crank, but not start due to lack of fuel. The number two symptom is engine stalls. A failing relay can cause the engine to stall unexpectedly if it intermittently cuts power to the fuel pump. The third symptom is no sound from fuel pump. Normally, you can hear a faint whirring sound from the fuel pump when the ignition is turned on. A faulty relay may cause this sound to be absent. The fourth symptom is check engine light. A malfunctioning fuel pump relay can trigger the check engine light because the fuel pressure sensor detects no fuel pressure. This can result in fault codes related to the fuel pressure sensor, such as P0190 to P0194. To learn more about OBD2 trouble codes and how to fix them, check our playlist on how to fix trouble codes. All right, now let's talk about how to diagnose a bad fuel pump relay. The most important step in diagnosing this issue is understanding what can cause a fuel pump relay to go bad. So let's explore the common causes. The first cause is electrical wire issues. Faulty wiring, poor connections, or damaged electrical connectors can cause the relay to malfunction. Corrosion or broken wires can disrupt the electrical flow needed for the relay to operate properly. The second cause is overheating. Prolonged exposure to high temperatures can cause the relay to overheat and fail. This is often due to continuous operation or excessive current passing through the relay. The third cause is wear and tear. Over time, the internal components of the relay can wear out. Mechanical wear from repeated switching can eventually lead to failure. The fourth cause is power surges. Sudden spikes in electrical current can damage the relay. This can occur due to faults in the vehicle's electrical system or external factors such as jump-starting the vehicle improperly. When a car exhibits the symptoms mentioned above and the fuel pump relay has been checked and found to be in working order, but the issue persists, it's essential to inspect the other components of the fuel system that exhibit the same symptoms of bad fuel pump relay. Issue number one is the faulty fuel pump. A malfunctioning fuel pump can cause symptoms such as difficulty starting the engine, engine stalling, and poor engine performance. Since the fuel pump is responsible for delivering fuel to the engine, any issues with it can mimic the symptoms of a bad fuel pump relay. Check out the video in the corner for guidance to diagnose a faulty fuel pump. The number two issue is a cutout wire. A damaged or broken wire in the fuel system circuit can interrupt the electrical flow necessary for the fuel pump to operate. This can lead to similar symptoms, such as the engine not starting or intermittent stalling, as the fuel pump may not receive consistent power. The number three issue is a blown fuse. The fuel pump circuit is protected by a fuse. If this fuse blows, it will cut off power to the fuel pump, resulting in no fuel delivery to the engine. This can cause the engine to fail to start, similar to a bad fuel pump relay. Now the most crucial part is testing the fuel pump relay to confirm the issue. Testing a fuel pump relay involves different procedures depending on the tools and equipment available. The first method is swap method. Swapping relays is indeed one of the easiest and most popular methods for testing a relay, especially when you to test a relay without a multimeter. It's a practical way to quickly determine if the relay is the source of the problem. The step-by-step -step method of the swap method, along with illustrations, can be found in our detailed article. 
Check out the description below for the link to the article for more information. The second method is testing with a multimeter. Using a multimeter allows for detailed testing of both 4-pin and 5-pin relays. It's a versatile tool for checking the resistance across the control and load circuits of the relay, helping you diagnose potential issues with the relay's functionality. If you found this video informative and helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with fellow automotive enthusiasts, and subscribe for more content on automotive diagnostics and repair. Your support helps us create more valuable content like this. Thank you for watching.